Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I'm demonstrating the use of the WP Simple PayPal Shopping Cart plugin and more specifically the different shipping options available with this tool. Um, right now, as you can see here, I have, a, uh, I have a product set up here on this page. And what I'm using is the product display box shortcode to, to demonstrate this. Um, we can just as easily use the standard Add to Cart button and all that will show up is the Add to Cart button. Um, there, rather than the entire display box, uh, they work exactly the same in terms of adding a shipping cost per item. So I'll demonstrate that in a second, but first I want to show um, this particular product has no shipping at all attached to it. Um, there's no shipping options configured at all within this plugin currently. So when we add this product to cart, it shows up as we might expect. There's no shipping. It's a uh, Whatever the product cost is, that's the total cost in the shopping cart. So I'm going to remove that, and then I'm going to go ahead and add a shipping cost to this particular item. Now here's the page used to generate uh, this product page here, and here's the short code to create the product display box. And again, we can use the other short code just for the add to cart button if desired. And all we would have to do is simply add shipping equals and then whatever our shipping amount is in quotes. And then click on update. So now when we come back here and refresh the page, uh, there should be a shipping cost attached when we add this to the cart. So now we can see in the cart, there is in fact a shipping cost. And then delete that. And next, I want to demonstrate how you would add a base shipping cost. So regardless of the number of products in the cart, I want to add a base shipping cost. But for this example, I'm going to actually remove the per item cost. All right. And now what we're going to do, go to the WP shopping cart settings. So under settings, WP shopping cart, we're in the general settings tab. And in here, I'm going to set up a base shipping cost. So for this one, I'm going to set up a base shipping cost of $5. Scroll all the way down, click on update options. So now when we refresh this page, um, we should anticipate when we add this to cart that there's going to be a $5 shipping cart cost associated with this. However, that's not going to be the case and I'll explain why. So there's no shipping costs at all. And the reason is this tool, this plugin allows us to sell physical as well as digital items. So it, when selling a digital item, naturally is not going to be a shipping cost. So we would leave that shipping parameter off. And if that's going to be the only product in the cart, naturally we don't want to add that base shipping cost to the, to the cart. Um, so what we do in this particular situation, if we do not want to add a per item shipping cost, even though this is a physical item, but we do want to add a base shipping cost. What we do is just add, we still add the shipping parameter, but we add a small enough amount that it doesn't affect the actual shipping cost. So for example, you can put in a fraction of a penny in there for the shipping cost. So that will not increase the shipping cost at all, but it will tell the plug plugin that this is a physical product that requires shipping. And if there is a base shipping per, uh, cost associated, use that. So I'll click on update and then we'll go through the process again. And I'll show you that that base shipping cost that we specified here will now in fact show up. Okay, so now let's add this to cart. And our base shipping cost of $5 shows up. And being that the per item shipping cost is just a fraction of a penny, that doesn't show up in the cart. But if we wanted to apply both a base shipping cost and a per item shipping cost, we would just we would leave that there, but we would create an actual amount in there. So if we wanted to charge $10 shipping, plus the $5 base shipping cost. We would just put the 10 in there like normal. And now both values will be added. So there should be a $15 shipping cost in this particular case. So I'm going to add this to cart. 
So we should have a $10 per item cost plus a $5 base shipping cost, and we do. So there's a $15 shipping cost for this product based on the information that we set up. Okay, and another option here, if we wanted to make it so that when a customer, say, purchases products in the total in the cart, um, the subtotal in the cart is more than $20, for example, we might want to offer free shipping. And in order to do that, we'll go back to the WP Shopping Cart settings, in general settings again, and then we choose, we specify the amount where we want to offer free shipping. So anything over 20 bucks, we're going to give free shipping. So click on Update Options after you put that in. Let's refresh our page. So rather than a $15 shipping cost in this case, it's going to be zero because they get free shipping because of that amount that shows up there. So there's no shipping cost as expected. So with those, with a combination of per item shipping and the base shipping cost, there's a lot of flexibility um, in order to create the actual shipping costs that we want. So we can modify values um, and get creative with that. However, if you find that to be limiting in any way, there is a choice um, within this plugin to just allow PayPal to handle the shipping. And with PayPal, you have the option, there's various table rates that you can set up or per country rates for shipping, uh, but that can all be handled on the PayPal side. You can configure that over there and then just tell the plugin, you know what, it's, rather than use any of the shipping settings within this tool, use the profile based shipping on PayPal instead. So all you got to do is check this box here and of course um, ask that PayPal collect the shipping address. So you can check that box there and then the customer will be prompted by PayPal to add the shipping address, I'm sorry, the shipping address, and then PayPal will determine a shipping cost uh, based on all the values you configured within PayPal. And with these checked, it'll override any base shipping costs or free shipping costs or per item shipping costs. So all you have to do is click on update options after that. And then PayPal is now taking over the shipping. If you find that the different options in here are, are too limited, you can just use the profile based shipping within PayPal. And that's really all there is to the shipping options within the simple PayPal shopping cart plugin. Again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.